The following tutorial is going to show you how to use the slice tool um, to slice up an image to create a website from it. All right, so we're going to imagine that you have created an interface, and from that interface, you're going to make a website. So naturally, I've just taken a screenshot of my website, and I'm going to show you how I would slice this up to be placed online. And I'll kind of show you the point of slicing. So first thing you need to do is select the slice tool. The slice tool is right here underneath your magic wand. If you hold down where the crop is, slice tool. All right, once I have the slice tool selected, you're going to notice at the top of the screen, there is a number and a little selector. Um, we're going to go through, each time I make a slice, it's going to change the slice to a number. And each time, and this is my options that I can go in and edit. So how do I slice up an image? I slice up an image however I want to, but think of your website like a grid. How would I actually want this to be placed? Obviously, each of these, home, curriculum, publications, MIT, contact, blog, need to be a link. Twitter, Gmail, LinkedIn, and Facebook all need to be links as well. So I need to think about that when I'm cutting this up because I'm going to put this in a web page. So the first thing I need to do is start slicing up my image. I can slice it up any way I want to. I've created slice one, and now notice automatically slice two is the bottom half of the screen. I'm going to create another slice, which is going to be the bottom half of the screen, which is slice three. And now this, notice the slice two is automatically this middle section here. Now, the bottom half of the screen, I'm going to keep the way it is, because I think it's just fine like that. However, slice two, I need to cut up into various different slices, because I need to make each of these a different link. So how could I do that? And this is only if I'm trying to make a web page from slicing. Obviously, if I'm going to import this in the Dreamweaver and add the links in manually and stuff, I would never need to do this. This is only if I'm, I'm choosing to do it this way. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to cut up each one of these images. So essentially, all I'm doing is I'm slicing each one of these buttons here. And I'm not going to do it for all of them. You can see the point. And then I would simply slice each one of these icons. Now, if I were creating a like rollover button, I could have two different colors here on different layers and slice each one of them up. Um, but essentially, each time that I slice something, I create an image of that. So this image one, this is going to be just a part of an image to this whole interface. Now, if I want to actually, I can actually add links to this and create a whole entire website from Adobe Photoshop. And I, since I did everything, I'll just do that, just to make them all have their own image. All right, now I go into Slice Select tool, and what that allows me to do is select the slice. So for instance, if I go to Publications and I click on it, I double clicked on it, on the little icon there, it gives me Slice. This is an image, it gives me a name, so I can choose a name for it. I could choose Publications if I want this image to be called Publications. Aha, uh -huh, but the interesting thing, URL. I can actually add a URL. So publications, I will just add. I don't actually know the website to my publications, but I think it's pubs.html. We'll try it out. Target, this is if I want it to be a pop-up window. I could put like an underscore blank, which would give me a pop-up window. Don't worry too much about that. Alternative text, uh, this is the 508 compliance thing. Don't worry about that as well for now as you're just starting this out. Just know that you can add a link in and that's how you would do it. Now, my image is all sliced up the way I like. I'm going to go to File, Save for Web. I'm going to choose the JPEG image and I'm going to click Save. Now, when it asks me, notice how the top of the screen, a few things here, interface.html, taking the name of my image and it's saving an HTML file. That's not an image file, it's a web file. So I've created a folder on my desktop where I can put this sample website just so I can really quickly show you guys. I'm gonna put it in a folder called my website. Now, I need to scroll down and for format, I need to make sure HTML and images is shown. If I select images only, only the images will save. HTML only, only the HTML file will save. I need to make sure HTML and images and I'm saving all slices. I'm going to click Save. Let's close Photoshop and open up my folder. I open up my folder. 
and let me just make this big so it's taking up my whole screen so we can just focus on that and nothing else here. All right, now notice in my folder I have an interface.html file and an images file. If I open up the images file and let's view each image. Here is each image in the images file. First image, second image, these are each one of my slices. Look, there are the buttons. So essentially what I could do is I could put each of these pieces, each of these into Dreamweaver, or into a template to put together and build my web page. That's actually how I start a web page sometimes. Um, I would never do it like this, but for those who don't know how to build web pages, this is a really great option. I'm going to open this file up, interface.html, and look at this. Here's the web page I just created. Look at it compared to my home page. I have some style changes here, like it's centered and I have a different background. Obviously this isn't, because I just created it really quick. I would need to take it into a web editor to make it a little bit better, but I can create my whole entire web page via Photoshop. Now, these publications, look, I didn't make these links, but look how I made publications in link. What, what, look what happens when I scroll over it. The web automatically recognized that Photoshop link, and if I click the button, that was actually the right link. It was pubs. It works. It goes right to my publications page. So this is how you use the slice tool and create a web page via Photoshop.